We're Jim and Sherry from Michigan, and we just picked up our Oliver 1327 as the whole number, and one night already, and we already know we made the right choice. Sherry and I, before we got to Oliver, we designed and laid out our own camper. It was an F550 on 40-inch tires built up, and COVID hit, and we got a couple of trips in it. That was it. We built it to go to Alaska for our 25th wedding anniversary, and it didn't work out. So here we are in 2023. After doing a factory tour last year in 2022, we made a long journey back to Oliver over the course of a year and a lot of research. And we picked Oliver because we truly believe it's the best. I'm a design engineer, so I am very picky. And after we looked through all of the options and we talked it over and did a pros and cons list, it was hard to beat the Oliver. We're very happy with the Oliver and we've only been in it one night. So I'll let you know down the road if we're still happy with it, but I'm pretty, pretty sure we will be. I want four season and no bugs. <laughs> that was probably the, the two biggest things. Warm, dry, easy to clean. But winter is, we probably camp until November. And then um, March, start again. Yep. And there's snow on the ground. So, you know, <laughs> we're going to try it. We contacted Oliver. And the very first person I got in touch with right out of the gate was Anita. And Anita from day one was no pressure, no sales, no selling, no pushing. She was just there to answer questions and set up our factory tour. And once we started the factory tour, we went through the entire thing and we really looked at how Oliver was put together. We looked at the nuts, the bolts, how they finished things off, how they made sure things were clean, how they made sure silicone wasn't dripping all over and it was cleaned up nice and tight looked at the windows and the fact that the windows in Oliver are as good a window as they are, and us being from Michigan in the cold weather, gave us a lot of confidence in that part of it. But then seeing the double hull and the insulation, and then how everything that was routed, whether it be electrical or plumbing, everything had its place in the routing. Um, it was just impressive to me, because I know it can all be laid out in CAD and very clearly defined and understood. But a lot of companies, even though they have that capability, still don't do it. They just throw stuff in, stick a screw somewhere, call it good. Oliver was very methodical in everything they did, starting from the trailer up in the first part of the tour, going through how the shells are made, showing that aspect of it in the fiberglass and how they clean up and make sure everything is good and trim them out. And then when they start to lay in all the materials, all of the plumbing, just everything is neat, clean, very concise, and it doesn't move on from that station until it's right. And one of the things I really liked was at the end of the line, when they do the inspection, if it's not right, it stops. You know, and it, you see the, people see the horror stories out there when they do research online of other trailers that they get, and two days later, they've got issues all over or it's leaking inside. I had none of that nervousness just after going through the factory tour. I would recommend the factory tour to anybody that's looking to buy an Oliver. And whatever trailer you're comparing it to, I would do a pros and cons list on both and really pay attention to that checklist and then do the tour. And if you can do a tour at another facility that you're looking at, I would do that too. I'd recommend it so you get all the information you possibly can. We've, we've done a lot of research on all different types of trailers, all of them across the board. So, and this is where we ended up. So. Yep. We, I'm happy with it. We came back and I, I called Anita and I specifically asked for Anita. I got Anita, I said, Anita, I know I told you we weren't gonna buy a trailer. I, you called me a couple times and we decided we, we were gonna let it go, but I'm back now. She said, that happens a lot, probably more than you can imagine. People will go out, do their research, kind of tell me no, and then they'll go back, do more research, come back six months, nine months, a year, year and a half later, and end up in an Oliver. And that's what we did, we did the same thing. One more thing on the engineering side, when you see how tight everything is inside the trailer because of the double hull and the sandwich and the way it's put together, I asked the question, I said, what happens if you get a bad water tank? And they said, well, believe it or not, the way it's engineered, we can actually slide everything around and get that water tank out. So if they can get to the water tank in these trailers, they can get to everything else. And that's one of the other things we liked is everything has pretty easy access even though it's that sandwich construction. What do you like to do? We like to go four-wheeling and canoeing. Um, I like being on the water. Maybe not fishing as per se, but I do go fishing with them. But I did like Canada. 
that is going to be one of our trips. <clears throat> Not sure when, but so just like being outdoors mostly. Yep, that's true for all of it. I'm probably the fisherman. I like to fish a lot. I like to bird hunt. So this will be up north in the fall doing some bird hunting. Um, canoe, kayak, be in a boat, whatever. We like all of that kind of stuff. The truck as it's equipped right now, we can put a two up machine, so an ATV on it. So we'll have an ATV so we can go to some of the parks and ride around, just get out and enjoy nature. We like a little bit of everything, hiking. I would say skiing, but I'm, I like to ski. Sherry doesn't like to ski quite so much. Cross country, but that's about it. Yep. 30th anniversary of Alaska still, I think. Yep. I'm still, we're getting, getting there. Alaska, and then there's a couple of roads in uh, Canada that we want to do. We definitely want to get into British Columbia. Might even want to go to the East Coast and go toward Newfoundland, check that out. Maine's so, very pretty. Maine's. You know what? When it comes to Michigan and Maine, if somebody picked you up and plunked you out of the woods of Michigan and put you in Maine, Except Northern for the Maine. fact it's a little more hilly, you would not be able to tell the difference. So definitely we'll make it back to Maine again too. But out west, uh, when we built the big camper, Baja was something we wanted to look into, so that could still be a, something we would do. I think the biggest thing, as much as, I know a lot of people don't like to make lists, the pros and cons list, but doing it in a way where you can compare trailer A to trailer B, C, and D, I would say that's a big part of it. And I would say go out. What do you want to do with it? Yeah, exactly. What do you want to do with it? How do you want to use it? Um, what are you looking for in the construction and durability, of course? But I would actually, I would actually tell people to really do a hard look. And even on the internet, when you're on the internet doing a search, you really want to go out there and find out all the issues. Just put in what experience have I had with Airstream? What experience have I had with Oliver? And to be completely honest and totally blunt, we came back to Oliver because I started doing research. What issues have you had with your trailer? And I, I really could not find anything on Oliver saying, don't buy this trailer because of this or anything. That blew me away. I mean, I can look at all the other major brands and I won't name them, everybody knows who they are. And there's something with all of them. And there's people out there that basically will say, I would have never bought it. I would not recommend this trailer to anybody. I honestly did not find that with Oliver. That impressed me. Hannah's great. <laughs> oh, Hannah's been fantastic. <laughs> Hannah, Anita, the entire crew here has just been really cool. Yeah. Appreciate it a lot. You know, and I, I know the trailers are they got a pretty good price tag on them. But I don't get a sense from anybody here that makes me feel that anybody's standoffish. Everybody here is down to earth and very straightforward. Just want to help you out. So I appreciate that very much. And we camped with other owners that came back after a year to get their maintenance and they're all still happy as can be with it. So. Yep.